This has been quite the journey. What started off as a pursuit of purpose has led to a path of self-discovery with the belief that anyone, regardless of their past, can make a difference in their community. The goal was simple. Focus on small wins and positive change as we strengthen communities affected by substance abuse. The national stats were on the rise. Communities across the nation were left looking for answers. Families continued to suffer, people continued to die. Our area in central Illinois had very limited resources for those struggling with addiction. And the perfectly flawed foundation sought to change this. As a former heroin user trying to find my voice, our young mission gained exposure fast. After an invitation to the State Advisory Board, we built a network of top public health and addiction activists throughout Illinois and beyond, whom we can now draw on as advisors to the Perfectly Flawed Foundation. We carried on and engaged our elected officials, a foundation called Perfectly Flawed, to assure the opioid crisis took top priority. This issue knows no color or party. Back home, we got to work. We brought in reinforcements to guide and structure our efforts as we network with other stakeholders to understand the tasks at hand. Our team of volunteers continues to deliver as we prepare for the future. We quickly provided support to local schools, youth leagues, and Christmas programs as our community continued to rally behind our efforts. Our work was just getting started. We've established a safe and private space to welcome those seeking help and looking for answers. Families and individuals are now comforted knowing they have someone to talk to that has been down this path. We've received requests weekly, sometimes daily, asking for help. We provide peer support whenever and wherever possible. Along with our local partners like Dusty Roads, we have begun to connect several to inpatient care. With others, we've encouraged positive change. Armed with the notion to give is to receive, we've established volunteer opportunities to help fulfill individuals in recovery. Education's the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Instead of just say no, we need to speak openly and honestly about the dangers that exist. Our messaging was heard. We used social media as a vehicle to promote our message as we continued to spread awareness and educate the public on the challenges we face. We hosted community education forums bringing in experienced colleagues to educate local leaders. We presented to schools, libraries, and at events serving youth and area professionals. We even created a book club and host online and in-person discussions. We need to give youth something to say yes to. In September, we launched our community partner and kids counseling programs. Over 20 local businesses are helping us work with kids impacted by addiction. With these partners, we provide positive outlets for youth as we work to break the cycle of addiction. We've taken a compassionate approach to addiction by starting a drug overdose prevention program to prevent unnecessary deaths. Alongside our friends, Buddy's Purpose and the Jolt Foundation, we began arming the community with overdose rescue kits. I'm Julie Wendorf and this is Lori Brown. We're with Buddy's Purpose. We lost our children to an accidental overdose in 2011 and that's when we met. After Julie and I met, we decided that our community needed awareness to the opiate epidemic that was happening. Since 2011, we have trained numerous people on naloxone. We have put on seven overdose awareness walks, and recently we teamed up with Perfectly Flawed to help bring more awareness, more education, and harm reduction to our community. This past summer, we saved our first life. Please help us build the future so the next statistic isn't your child. We are the Perfectly Flawed Foundation. And we're just getting started. <laughs>